I didn't see that. Oop. Yeah. All right, folks. We're here. We had uh, some pineapple pizza for Din Din. It was good, good, good. I think I ate the whole thing. It wasn't that big. She had like a slice, and I, I was eating it, and I was eating it. I was like, all right, I'll just finish it off. It was pineapple pizza at its best there. Chuck it. And so uh, well, we'll get, before you, get, before you fi get fired up, boil a little bit longer. We want to get a couple people in here before you get going. But So let me just talk about my day real quick. Stay mad. I know you. I know you're boiling over here. I can see the bubbles coming out of here. You, you look like you know. Don't pay attention to the man in the curtain. Okay, that's what you look like right now. So, uh, my, I didn't have too bad of a day. I yeah, played some. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, where's the uh? So, uh, pineapple pizza is the best. So, uh, all right, we, we'll, we'll give it one more second here because people are just starting to come in the chat before you fire off, but. Uh, Hi, Bruce. Yeah, so, I had so some... Tell me about the you're the rest of your day real quick. All right. Yeah, the golf... I heard the golf lobby got to the governor, so now we need the hockey lobby to get to the governor. Then I can be back in business, and I won't be unemployed, so that would be good. Um, yeah, so my day, pineapple pizza, not a lot. Oh, wait. Oh, somebody boot Mark. Somebody please boot Mark out of the chat room. No I pineapple like in your house. Yeah, no. Okay. No please, pineapple. Would you just continue? All right, all right. So what did I do today? Uh, had a nice uh, walk the dog. I come home. I, uh, I think I played some golf. I had one good round offline, one bad round online. I tried to play the three-click method. That didn't go well. Emailed the company. The guy got back to me, which is nice, and uh, just said that he defends the accuracy of his game, and that's all he said. And there's a practice mode if I want to play accurate mode. Uh, so I get done that, and I put in the Strat basketball on the table. I played. I, I haven't watched that yet. I haven't. Oh, that was so good! What a You're what a softening me up already. What a good finish that was! Strat basketball. That was, that oh, was great. Steve, that's too funny. That was good. That was good. That, that was, was good. good. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna be but, doing an instructional. I won't. It won't be a live thing, but I'll do an instructional video. Okay. When okay. We're done. So. But um, yeah, the Strat basketball was fun. Oh, do you know what I did? I um, what? So, so I I printed out the Celtics court, but I also printed out the oh, Buffalo Braves. Braves. Oh, yeah. Nice. I got the Braves, and then I got um I got the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Very, very good. Yep. I'm not sure, I'm not gonna do them all, but the ones I know I'm gonna play. And then of course you got to have the uh the Forum and the Lake. Beat LA. LA. Beat LA. LA. So. I, I printed out all of those so I could have them uh, on as the as my um, my backdrop there. The um, I, I thought I like the backdrop it. came out pretty good here. I, like I, it. I, I, I thought, thought it was but yeah. I mean, the one that comes with Strat is I mean, it's got an old fashioned key for crying out loud. Yeah, they haven't used a key shaped key. You know why they changed that? And you're going to be distracted from the rant I'm desperately trying not to give here. Was because Wilt Chamberlain. They changed it for Wilt. Did they? Because he, if he wasn't at the line, he could fly in so fast to get the offensive rebound on a missed free throw. Oh wow! I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's why they did it. It's for it's for Will. Yeah, so he, he, his he was my setup that I did today. I like it. Yeah, it's it's not too bad actually. It was um so you can see me just playing the game here and rolling the dice. And so I had the uh, it's the old school card. It's not not old. It's older, but they're not the old game. It's the newer game. It's eighty three. I had L Lakers Celtics. So I have a little Celtics backdrop there, and I got my dice tower, and I'm flipping the cards. And now uh, what a game! What a game! I had my scoreboard going. You can see my scoreboard. So yeah, so I played the fourth quarter of that today. That was a lot of fun. There and used then, to be. I don't know if you remember this or not. Um, uh, like a like a see through uh, invisible ink marker or something like that, and there was a bunch of uh, sports activities or other activities, and one of them was it would just say uh, you'd start the game in a hundred a hundred, and you would fill in the little circles or mark the little circles until you actually got a game over or whatever. Oh, you nice. might want to do that, and I was thinking that you know if you start let's say with five minutes to go or whatever, and a hundred hundred tie, and do it that way, play half a quarter. Yeah, or I could simulate online here and just take the score and go to yeah. it. But it was 20 minutes to play the fourth quarter, and I think that was good. Oh, nice. I think, so, I mean, a couple things you could do is I could play the, the three quarters offline and then just turn on the camera for the fourth quarter. Yeah, it was that's a good true game. if you wanted to do that. Yeah, so anyway. All right. No, um, did no, you that, make the dice tower yourself? No, that was a Hobby Lobby or Hobby Zone, one of those two. And uh, Al Red Sox. So we got the full crew here. Uh, I'm glad everybody's here because we got – hang on a sec. 
It's time for Ron's Rant. Yeah, Jill remembers that. Anyway, you know, I take a nap every afternoon. Relaxes my eyes. Refreshes me for the pounding I'm going to take when I do Aww. anything at night. Oh, yes. And so... Oh. oh, you know, and so you know, I feel refreshed and robust in all that. And so I wake up from my rant today, or my, from my nap today, and there's a note from Dave, which there usually is, and there's eight things for me to check on Facebook. And so the first thing I check on Facebook is this picture of this frozen pineapple pizza with all you turkeys commenting on it like oh dave that's great oh wonderful blah 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 you know fine and so i checked my note from gardner may it please the freaking court how's that <laughs> and there's this piece of cooked garbage garbage that was supper that was so good garbage absolute garbage i'm glad you enjoyed it now, I'm also, to be fair, not a fan of uh, chicken and waffles. Have you done that? No. I, I, I had, well, we went to breakfast somewhere years ago when we traveled in the hockey league, and someone got that for breakfast. It looked good, but I, I didn't. I, um, I'm not a fan of, like, salted caramel, anything. Yeah, I like pineapple. <laughs> I like pineapple. I don't like it on pizza. Oh, come on, pizza is the pineapple is the I stuff. don't like it on pizza. Brady versus Breeze in week one. So it's what it's the uh, um where'd Breeze go? Tampa and Colts, right? Is Breeze in New Orleans? No, New Orleans. That's right. Rivers yeah. went to New uh, Rivers. I get those mixed up too. And so yes, uh you like blueberry. I see I'm a syrup guy with waffles. So I actually had chicken for dinner tonight. And then I had orange for dessert, but I wouldn't eat them both at the same time. I'm just not that way. But this whole pineapple, this whole pineapple thing on pizza, just it just grinds my gears. I'd pepper the last pizza I had was sausage and onion. That's not bad. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. But I don't, you, but you don't like pepperoni. Oh. The pepperoni, it's it's a lot of sodium on a pizza. The pizza has enough salt and stuff. When you add the pepperoni, it's like I could just feel like all the grease coming out of my skin. I'm just like, eh. <clears throat> yes. Thanks, Bears Den. Thanks, Bears Den. Way to go, Larry. Nice job. Yep. Golf course has opened up here today. Yep, they opened down here too. No, no, no. Stop siding. Stop siding with him. Please it's stop. Not, no. Well, yes. No, actually, uh, Uncle Ron Snake Oil, which is gray, we determined that during the baseball game today, comes in cherry flavor. <laughs> so Yeah, Al, I want a video on that. I, I'm looking at it online right now, and it looks interesting, but so I want a video from you on that, that basketball game. Um, actually, it's in grapefruit flavor because, you know, uh, you're going to drink the snake oil. Oh, great fruit All right. So is oh, that the end of the ramp? Is, 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 was that it? Just pineapple? I, I mean, I'm just inundated by pictures of pineapple pizza when I wake up today. I can't tell you just how upset and angry and... and, and I, I tried to arrange the th so it looked like boobs. I thought you might like that. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's pizza. <laughs> uh, I, uh. I thought junk, so I didn't get boobs out of that. Uh, you know when then, I put it when I put the pizza in the oven, I put it on the rack. <laughs> oh. It's been a long time since I had any milk with my pizza, Dave. That's right. I bet so. you do. You could use that to to hide the medicine or peanut butter. All right. So we got the people in the chat room. Should we talk about the golf game? Go ahead. You can talk right. about the golf game. All right. So everyone's playing it. I don't mean everyone, but you know, a lot of people in the community are playing right. it. I was watching people last and even today, people still playing it. And, and some people are fine with it. And some people have an issue with it. I, I like the game, but yeah, just, you don't. And then, you know, I emailed the, the company and the guy got back to me and, and I said, look, there's way too many miss hits for the top guys to be miss hitting that much. It's just not fun. And he get back to me and he says, if you go check the, the statistical accuracy of the tournament, you'll find that this is an accurate game to what they're playing. So he's defending the, the statistical accuracy of the game. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. But it's a game. 
It's supposed to be fun. And when you don't have a lot of control over, see, you can aim it, okay? And you got the wind, and you can fade and draw the ball, okay? But once you get that all set and hit, hit the click button, you know, it does all the magic behind the scenes. If that says miss hit to the left by eight degrees, you don't have any control over that. That's the issue that I have. And I, I was trying to trying to work with that. You know, I was. I was trying to work with that and say, okay, how can I work around this? But there's no right. controlling that. That is it is so I'm just right automatic when that happens. And just and if it's once in a while, it happens. Even Tiger ended up in the water once in a while. But holy smoke. Okay. Okay, was, okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. I, 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 hold it. No, I heard you. I heard you. What do you think the leading percentage was last year in the PGA Tour of fairways hit? Fairways hit. Fairways hit. Driving accuracy percentage. 70, 75? Oh, you're pretty close, actually. Uh, Shays Reevy hit 75.72% of his fairways, and that led the tour. Okay. Okay. Um, only 12 of all those golfers had 70%. I, I would have guessed higher, personally. But uh, Jim Herman was 12th with 70.15. Um, 66 hit 65% or more. Okay. And... Oops, 132 had over 60%. Okay, so you talked in 60 to 75% fairway, fairway accuracy. I would think that the average, P, to make the, if, yeah, number 100. We Kim, by the way, W-H-E-E-K-I-M. Number 100 on the list. It's 62.07% of his fairways. So out of 965, now you don't get a fairway on a par three, okay? So out of the 965 that he teed off, played in 73 rounds, he hit 599. Brooks Kupka hit 61.83% of his fairways. See that, that, see, that that doesn't, that seems really low. No, that's and not I'm not. Right. I'm not doubting your statistics here. I, I'm. I'm looking right at the PGA Tour's official. Dude, dude, dude I just said I didn't doubt him. Okay, dude, dude just okay. Just settle dude, down, dude, dude. Dude, we're okay. We're. Oh, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. All right, you are relaxed now. You relaxed. <laughs> what? Sa oh, tell about Sarah's haircut. Oh God, I married Sinead O'Connor. Sarah cut off all her hair. Oh, there's no more curls. The cat didn't recognize her. The cat didn't recognize her. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's bad. And so Emily spent most of the afternoon yesterday and last night going, who are you? Yeah. It's like when you shave off a beard or a mustache, it, it does look different. Yeah. So Jessica was saying, too, it's like. You know, you can hit the the rough of the first cut or something, but yeah, I I I had that today. Holy cow! I was Freddie Couples, and he he missed hit like two or three shots in a row. It's yeah, like, so the average man. person is hitting about eleven out of eighteen, and and ID's right. It could be just six inches, or you know, it I'm going to do an instructional video. I'm not doing it live, but you know, to go through some of the things. And um, but no, I, I'm surprised it's that low too. I would have thought. So yeah. so here's the question to everybody in the chat and to, to also you, Ron. It's like, are you guys okay with the way it is? If 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 they if we were to go look like Ron's doing now and we found out that that was statistically accurate, that we're playing the game and the ball's missing the fairway as much as it should, that's not fun for me. So maybe they need to have a but that's not what it's for. It's a sim game. There yeah. are there are games you can go through and play, like the golf club, for instance. That's you can go out and shoot 56s at Augusta. Yeah, all I know. You know how many people on the PGA tour last year hit 75% of the greens? No. 60? None. Okay. Corey Connors. Never heard of him. Uh, hit 73% of the greens, and that was the leading. 
there well, on the see, it is, I got to disagree with Turbo a little bit here. If, if you know what I said a minute ago is you line up your shot, you look at the wind, you take your stance, you do all these things here, and then you still miss hit it. That's my that's my issue. Is is I miss when you get down with the shot, it says miss hit eight to the left. No, I'm I'm with Turbo I, here. I can't control that. I can line up my shot with the wind. All I can do is pick my club, aim it, and take my strength of the shot. Am, am I wrong? Is there something else you can do in this game aside? Aim it, to, how hard you want to hit it, and choose your club. That's all you can do, right? Yep. Okay. You hit the button. You yep. missed hit. You miss hit. Where'd no, you play, though? You Where'd didn't you aim wrong. You didn't aim to the left too much or the right too much. Or the wind carried it. It says miss hit, and it pushes it way over here on the miss hit. But where'd you play? What condition did you play? You play. You play the I, first. I, I, I went no wind. I went okay. no wind, and I just was trying to see it out. And still, and that, that's my issue. Is that what can I, I do? Have to, that yet, though, Dave. But what can I do to avoid an eight? I'm gonna miss do. Hit? I'm gonna do a video on it. That that's what I that's what I want to know is like what am I doing wrong when I hit the button that he misses it eight to the left? What can I do that's but in it my does control? Happen. Now, how many times around is that happening? It was. It, it feels like it happens way more than it should. That's all I'm but, saying. But and, and not you, that I, not that I want to be in the fairway every single time, and not that I want to be on the green every single time and birdie every single hole. I get that, but it just seems like you click and you're like, oh my gosh, here I am, way over there. So if there's something I can do to correct it, that's fine. But I don't know he's going eight to the left or five to the right, so I can't correct that. And I guess that's where the the, the non fun factor comes in for me. And so if it's a sim and it's like, look, it's going to be a hardcore sim and that's that, then I got to decide if I want to play a hardcore sim or if I want to play something that's a little bit more arcadey like the old games when they were just fun. But right. to play this, a hardcore sim. This is a sim. Mm -hmm. It's a sim. I'm surprised that no one top 75% in greens. I, I really am. But I, I wasn't trying to hide. I was just trying to drive and just hit to the green and it just, whew, whew, and I'm like, no wind. So I just don't know how to control that. How would I avoid a miss hit? If I knew that, maybe I could correct it. But if, if it's all random, that that's that's it's my not issue. not random. You got to look at the ratings of the golfers. I did, and there was one guy that was balanced. The the, the okay. You know, one, one guy said, but "What was he with the driver, and what was he with the with the woods and the long irons and stuff?" Okay, I saw those numbers. Okay, what do I what do I do? You got to think. I mean, this is this is a hardcore sim. They've made a hardcore golf sim, and maybe that's you know for the way that you play. And I'm not picking on you in any way, shape, or form here. It may not be the game that you want to play, but this is a, it is a hardcore sim. You should be able to replicate within reason what those golfers did. You could always create your own golfer in the game. You know that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. But you know you want to play the guys that you know, and I don't always play the scrubs. I sometimes play you, really good guys. You can also, you know, go from shorter tee. You can make the courses more receptive to you. There's a lot of settings. We'll go through. I'll go through it tonight. It's not a problem. But well, that, yeah, like I just, I was six over. Okay, when I was playing Freddie, I was six over, and it was all bad shots. And those six shots, uh, that's what he said. I don't have any control over those shots. Neither do the golfers. What makes you think they do? I would think that they would they, have they don't know how far that. off it's going to be. You miss hit it by a millimeter. Then one round shouldn't tell you much of anything. It did, well that this was my issue last year. And if I go back to some of my old streams, you'll see how I laugh about the miss hits. Mm -hmm. Miss hit. And th the thing they did this year is last year the miss hits were in red. They took out the red this year. I don't, yeah. I don't know if anybody picked up the, on that. The, the one issue I really have with the game is that you're not playing from the way that you would actually shoot the ball. You're not going from top or from bottom to top. And so you're shaping shots, not the way that your eye would look at it. You're looking at a top down left to right thing. That would be the one thing that I would change. And I think you'd be able to, to see the shot better. I just, wish i knew 
how to correct the miss hit to the left or the right. Because that's that's my point. That feels random. It feels like that once you hit the button, it rolls the dice and it's like, oh, snake eyes again, off to the left or off right. to the right. How do I fix that? What? How do I manipulate my golf or what buttons do I need to click to, to, to make that happen? That's that's what I'm not understanding. So it's I just feel like I'm at the mercy of the game where I got it. I have the computer assist on. I think it's going to go here and roll uh, here. I would take your favorite golfer and your favorite golf course and play it like four or five times and figure it out. And it, it seems like I do get better as I play. The first two holes, I bogey everything, and then I get better. But it's just – I mean, I, I, I took I, I, I took Jack Nicklaus today and played St. Andrews in a heavy wind. And I counted how many shots were more than three degrees offline. And there were seven. But I shot a 69. Um, I, I wouldn't say it was poor customer service. I'm not, I'm not going to bank on Ryan for his response. He was defending the accuracy of his game as a sim. Okay? I was coming in as a casual player saying, as a casual player, I'm getting my ass kicked. And I don't know how to fix it because I, I, you know, I hit the button to swing. It does its calculations and it's like, nope, you're over here. So but it, that happens in golf. It really does. Well, like I said, like I do saying the one to five is acceptable. When seven to 10, there's nothing you but, can do about but it. But it happens. No, it I don't happen. think, I don't think it happens in, in this frequency though. When you're playing two golfers out in the course and, and yeah, one of them is constantly in the woods. One or two rounds doesn't – you can't make a judge on that. It's the same thing as when someone would complain about a certain baseball game. And, um, and it was, okay, well, how many games have you played? It doesn't matter what the game is. I'm not talking about Stratomatic. Um, how many games have you played? Well, I've played three. Well, talk to me when you've played the rest of the league – and you played three yeah. games against the rest of the league, and then tell me how your stats are. But I played a ton of this last year in last year's version. I played a lot of rounds. Yeah, I played, I'm I played, playing a couple of years. I played all the different courses. Every single time I played, it was the same thing. You know, so you know, maybe I need to stop and take five or ten minutes before every shot so I no. can look and check it right. out. Because but I don't know what else to look at. You know, aside from hitting hitting a wedge every time and going 50 yards at a whack so I don't hit it in the woods. I don't know how to fix this. Here, I will do a video tonight to show because I haven't had that problem. I just find I get the miss hits way too much. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, and, and I don't mind that. That's part of the fun is the recovery shots. I've had a few of them, and they've been great. And that that's a lot of fun. Red Jack hold one on hold us one from the rough on the road hole in seventeen on St Andrews. Like, oh well, I got a five here. Oh, it's a three. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's, it's, it is based on stats, and I get that. And not that I expect you know Wayne Gretzky to score on every single shot he takes. That's not the point here. But if 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 Gretzky went 0 for 5 on breakaways in your game, you would think that there's an issue here. And, but and then, you remember you were upset when Bobby Orr lost the puck five times in strap. Yeah, then but, but then but it. when I finally realized that that was kind of just part of game flow, it, right? It, it, and that he didn't like just lose it. He might have something else might have happened. So once I got that mindset, I was fine. So maybe I need to change my mindset you with know, a game. Think, in it. You know, if you're still feeling this way after 20 rounds, that might be an issue. But when you're pulling something out for the first time, and and it and it may be an issue. I don't know. I haven't had it. I did well being a casual guy that just puts his feet up and just likes to play. Right. I don't want to overthink oh, this. And I understand that. No, I really do understand that. So it, it doesn't mean that you have to take two hours for a round either. So I, I would just take um and and Al just bogeyed the first hole with Alice Cooper at St. Andrews. Well, that's what somebody else posted. Somebody else posted they played Tony Romo against a regular golfer, and Romo won. It's like that would never happen. I don't know. Romo qualified for a PGA Tour event. You do know that, right? Oh, no, I don't, but I still don't think he's going to beat anybody. Well, he beat a few. No. Anyway. You know, I tried the swing meter. Oh, I wouldn't um, do that though. And and I had a hard time with that. I gave up on that after three holes. I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do with that. I mean, there are there are still there are games that you can go back and click your feet up, like the golf club, which is the PGA tour yep. thing, and you can do that. And and that's fine. There's nothing so, wrong with it. 
he said that there's a um a practice mode and you know and i get that but i you know if i want to play a course or if i want to play tournaments you probably can't and well, it's just, but, but by repetition you're going to understand what's going on just like they remember those golfers don't show up thursday morning at nine o'clock for their tea time never seen the course either you know no, they, i get they, that three times for the week but, or if they're veterans they're they, they've seen the course before you no know, but 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 again, if you're if you can control your club, the you know your percentage of hit and your aim, those are the three things you control. I still don't know how to avoid a miss hit because it, it seems like it's so random. And so, if I don't know he's hitting to the left, or if I if I knew he's hitting to the left, I could aim to the right to correct it. But it just it just seems like and that's and that kind of goes into the open engine, closed engine thing, because if you miss hit it and look down and say, Oh, I had the worst possible role. Okay. Then that would be, that's how I got it. I think that's the frustrating thing is you don't, because it's a closed engine, you yeah. don't know how you, but got it just it. feels like a game of Planko. You put the thing in the top and it bounces down through all the nails and, and you have no control over where it goes. And, and that, that's the frustration that I have. So, so we but, talk about what Larry Harris talked about up there. That was pretty funny. Not that up a little further. Oh, yeah, you were playing with Craig last night. So I had a nice time with Craig Wessel last night. And we are doing his all-star lineup baseball. And I did the 86 Red Sox, and he did the 2011 Rangers. So both teams that were jilted at baseball's World Series altar. And so it was, if, if the roll is a tie, um, you would draw a wild card. Okay. Okay. Which kind of gave it something interesting. A couple of those were next couple batters get a an advantage, or the pitcher gets an advantage. The next couple rules, or it's an error, or in the tenth inning, I had a, he had a balk against him with the bases loaded. But one of the funny cards is that he did he did tell me what was in the cards. He's not trying to look. Is so I get a tie on a Bill Buckner rule. Okay. And so the role is, so he flips over the card. Batter argues with umpire over strike three. Batter is ejected. I saw that Buckner went out. So Bill Buckner got ejected from a game, which I thought was so funny. Now the Red Sox, of course, stranded six runners in the first two innings. And over a course of a 10 inning game, we stranded 15. Yeah, there's a lot of runners. And we won three to one. It was fun. I really, Craig and I both really enjoyed it. We got a chance to talk for a while and 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 show off the game. The advanced system wasn't all that difficult. Um, but but it was fun to see. It was funny. He was still laughing this afternoon. So that's why I wake up to ha ha. Bill Buckner got ejected, and ha ha. I'm having a pineapple pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you won last night. What two to one or something? Uh, three to one. Three to three one. Three to one and extras. Yeah. Yeah, and ten. That was fun. So um that, by the way, is up on Craig W's channel. Yep. On um on YouTube. And it was the first time I think he used StreamYard by himself. Yeah, I thought he was gonna use Zoom. Yeah, it was that. So it yeah, it's it's not it's a fun little game. You played it. Yep, I pl I played a game or two. It was kind of fun. I'd like to go back and play it again. I'm not like I said, I'm not a huge baseball guy, so that's it why. It really, to me, seems like a very good game to play against somebody. That it's a good time if you're sitting there with with the beer and the pretzels or the or the pineapple juice and the pizza. There you go. There we go. Um, just to sit there for grins and giggles and play a game of baseball. It's not that difficult. It's uh. You know, it's a you know good to have a conversation while you're playing. Um, it was fun. Oh, good. And your favorite players can be ejected or grinding in the double plays. Uh, yeah, I put the one game I played. I flipped over, and there was I don't know bench clan brawl, and the pitcher got kicked out. There was there was some weird really? stuff in there. Yeah, it was. I it was something like that. This I somebody got kicked out of the game. It it did happen. Usually, I don't play those rules. If, even if I'm playing a hockey game, it's like this guy's out. It's like nope, I'm, I don't play the ejections. I just don't like that. That's just me. But um, so, yeah, so we played some golf today. The golf courses are, are opened. I don't know what the stipulations are. I heard hockey rinks are starting to open up. So that's a big deal. You know, people need to get confidence that they can leave their house. 
Yeah, that's they've what, opened up the state parks here. We can congregate in groups of less than 10 as long as we keep six feet away from each other outside. Um, although they wish that I would still stay home because I'm diabetic. Yeah. But, um, you know, we got out last Saturday, had a good time. Yeah, that's the thing, Bill, is that I just don't know how to fix the mishits. I, I think if they opened up the engine enough to see what the role was, because it is, you know, it's, you know, pretend, for instance, for example, it's three 10-sided dice. So it's a percentage dice. So it's yeah. a one in a thousand shot. Now, when I played the three swing method, mm -hmm. I missed, you, you, you go up to the top for your speed, you come down for accuracy, right. and then you hit the contact. So it's a three or four click thing. I missed the accuracy by a wide margin. It was horrible. And that was the eight miss hit for me so that's how bad you gotta miss hit it and that was my point it was like wow well i clicked that button way too early it was nowhere as near the target that you need when it come back down and hit the target and that's why i miss hit it so bad so it's like wow it's like how often is that gonna happen so and alice cooper is one over through three at st andrews um it may need tweaking you know that that not saying it doesn't but I, i've played three rounds and I've not seen, I counted, like I said, seven shots. And it was for, for Nicholas, it was his iron shots. But his iron ratings were lower. So pay attention to the ratings of the players that you're playing. Create someone that's that's tens all the way through. And take that out for a practice round and see what you get. I mean, I could do that as an experiment. But the idea is I kind of want to play the I under, game. I understand why you're playing. And I just like this. Oh, I play Freddie Couples all the time. I like him and... Uh, Byron Nelson, I played, and Sergio Garcia. I don't even know if they play anymore, but I, I like some of those guys. The but it's uh, a Sergio. He's a he's always you know Sarah will watch him because he's always in these garish colors. And oh yeah, the condiment package is playing today. Yeah, yeah. I I just like you know I just like to kick back and play, and it's just I I just feel it's too much, and it's fun recovering. It is, and again, I don't I just I play all the golfers, so I'm not playing against anybody or i'm not even playing a computer i'm just playing them all myself but it's just you it's like man what do i gotta do to fix it could be i'm not sure what he does i'm not sure um no no because you didn't start that round with the swing meter I know I, I went back on and played three holes with the swing meter. And in some ways it was better because if you hit the accuracy, you weren't miss hitting nearly as much. So the first, first couple of swings I got, I hit the accuracy pretty well. So I was like, okay, good. Uh, I've, you know, this is better. And then I was not hitting it as well. And I was like, no, nah, this is not how I want to play the game. So I felt as though if you could get the three click down, you'd be a heck of a lot more accurate than just the random generator. But yeah, it was um, it was it was out of control. I thought, but maybe if I go in with a different mindset and realize that this is going to happen and this is this is real life, and but it's it's almost like I I I've, I wouldn't have guessed that no one was over seventy five percent in greens. But but it's it, it's if if you've ever played like a shooter game like Call of Duty, right, or anything like that, and you have all the different difficulty levels, and there's some difficulty levels. I've you never take, played Call of Duty, but okay, I'll, I'm, I'm with you. All right, so there's some – some okay, you put it on and say easy, right? And you could play and you could take a few bullets and you live, okay? Right. And then you could play hard and you could take maybe one bullet and that's it. And then you, then you can play a realistic mode that if you get hit at all, it's like real life. Yeah, maybe hit, that's it. what they need to do in future versions. So, so is, picture it's like I if mean, you if you played everything on, on real life mode, um, boy, it's super accurate. But I've played some of those games that have real life mode and they're not fun. And you, you can, they can tell me all day long. Well, if you got hit by a bullet, then you would not be fighting. If you got hit here, I get it. I'm playing a game. I want to take a lot of bullets so I can continue fighting and play the game. That's what makes the game fun. So statistically, this game I'm shooting my guns with, right. if I get hit, I'm dead instantly or I'm out of the game. I get it. It's real. Is that how? So, but I never play that way. I want to have play and have fun and this game feels like that that if you take the one bullet you're done but it that it's accurate so this is it if, like i say you showed me the stats this game is statistically accurate does statistically accurate make for a fun 
game. It's not why they make the game, though. And you know that. Now, what they've done for the other games is I don't is that they've made interfaces simpler. So if you want to sit there, I don't know what a normal miss hit is. I've seen players hit it 30, 40 yards offline. It's not impossible. It shouldn't be happening on every hole. I get it just it could just be the optics of it. It just feels that way. It just feels like you, every third hole, your tee shot's gone awry somewhere, and you're like, "How do I fix that? How do I fix that?" That, that that's my only my only point is that it just feels like if, if if it happened every four or five holes, it wouldn't be so bad. You have that odd bad shot or you know, a shot here or there, or a bad hole, but it just seems like that you have one one or two good holes, and then bam, you're in the crap, and you you're constantly digging out of a miss hit. That, that that's just all my point is you know and it's but you know like someone else says sometimes you play around and everything is fine it's great hey i had a great time and other times so. i know that when i play asc golf if i you know because i've created my own character there too i'm gonna have one round where i suck and one round where i play better than i should and i'm hoping that that round where i suck isn't on payday you know, you go, okay, so you shot 69, 70, 69. You're, you shoot another 70. You're probably top 25 for the week. You're going to get some championship points. You're going to get some fake monies. And then you, you know, shank your freaking tee shot on two. And, nope, oh, 74 today. You drop 40 places down the leaderboard, and that sucks. And then the next week, okay, you get the bad round on the way on Thursday. You scramble to make the cut on Friday, and you go out and shoot 65, 65 yeah. on the weekend. I, I guess I'm going to have to watch golf next time it's on TV and see how these guys actually do. It just seems like it's like the guys tee off, especially the better guys, and boom, they're they're on the fairway on, or just outside of it, and then they, they hit it down on approach, and they're putting. And it's, it's, Remember, you know, television shows you the best of everything, and they don't show you every shot from every player. Yeah, that's true. You can re I'm sure the game will let you see what they did. I mean, you could go through and do a play by play for all the Zoom games there. It'll show you. And if it's wrong, it needs to be pointed out. I you know, I'm not saying that you guys are wrong. I'm just saying that this is what they've determined it to be. And a lot of it is, yeah. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing that video tonight. I'm not and, saying, and, and that that's know. so that's my I guess I'm I'm repeating myself here, but how how do you how do you fix the miss hits? How do you get around that? Or do you or you just accept them and just say, look, no matter no matter what I do, no matter how I check my feet, the level, the green, the area, you know, the weather outside, I take my temperature, I do everything. You try to forget it and move on to the next hole. That's, okay, well, that, that's my point. So if I, right. I, I if I do everything, I look at all the data I got and every every minuscule tweak I can make to the shot, I still don't know how to fix the miss hit. And I guess that's that's the thing. So do I just accept that that I can't do anything about it? And that but if the computer can, if the computer does a lot less miss hits and the computer plays a better round than me. What did the computer do? That's what I want to know. How okay. how do I do Have what the computer did? Have you taken a foursome yet with you controlling one and the computer controlling the other three? That would be a good test, too. I did that in the last game. Okay. And I don't, I don't remember what happened. I think I lost. And, but that was my thing, you know? So that's that would be the next thing is, you know, take four players. Maybe take the same four players, the same player, and play it four times. You play it once. And the computer plays it, yeah. and the computer plays it three times, and just watch what they do. So why the discrepancy? Because I think people try to rush to play, and you get pissed because of what happened at the last hole. You had that five-footer for birdie, you missed it. So you're upset going to the next tee, and so you may not you may not know the course. I mean, that's why Augusta is a good testing course, because even if you don't think that you know it, you know it. You know, it, it is the same as real life. And so a hole where you think you might want to take a driver on, three wood, as Stewart says, is the best play. It, it really involves thinking. You got to think your way. I mean, that's the one thing that Tiger Woods did so well 
is he thought his way around the course. That doesn't mean that you need to take an hour to play around. I did that Nicholas round a day in 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. But it was a case of, okay, I, I don't want to give away what I'm going to do in the video, but it's kind of like there is a thought process involved now. But I would do that if I were you. You take Freddie Couples, you go back to whatever course that you want to play at. You set him up to play four times. You play him once as a human, and you watch what the computer does with him and see what the differences are. The only thing I've noticed is that there, there was a time I took a really good golfer and a really bad golfer, and the really good golfer just hit everything longer the, right off the tee. Even if they hit two beautiful tee shots, one guy was always way ahead of the other. So, mm -hmm. so you could see that the bad golfer – was not as good. And so you were playing catch up the entire time, you know, but again, you know, we're, we're kind of just, just beating the horse here is that. I understand I just, your frustration. I, re I really don't. I, I just to... wish I knew. And I, I understand the close engines and that's fine, but I just want to know what. One of the things that is disappointing about the closed engine, because you can't say, Oh, well he sprays it 30 yards to the left on a rolls of a, B and C. Yeah. Okay? But it's like, if you play, hockey or basketball and you take the outside shot you know it's a low percentage shot it doesn't bother you what you could do is try to get inside for a closer shot but the so driver is not a, but the driver is not a scoring club right but i'm saying there's stuff you can do to improve your chances but where the golf it, it's it's so i don't know what what i can do to improve my chances so yeah i would just take I don't know if you can, but I would just take Freddie or or whoever. You play him four times. You play one. The computer plays it three and yeah. sees what happens. If they're, if the computer is mishitting it like you are, then, I mean, it doesn't mean that I'm not saying the game doesn't need to be tweaked. I honestly don't know that. But I all I can tell you is in the rounds that I played, the one I did on the stream last night with Tiger and Rory and a couple of mids hits early, and the two other round, I mean, I took Gary McCord around someplace, broke par, uh, and I played Nicholas this morning. I, I haven't seen those issues. It doesn't, I'm not saying that they're not there. I'm just saying I'm not having that issue. So <clears throat> uh, what do we got here? Um, then, no, it, it really doesn't give you a tendency. I mean, it gives you a lot of information to look at. I, I just don't know. There's how, a lot to process. They're but it's just really how good. how do you – if all you can do is aim and choose your club, I don't know how else to do it. Um, so he, here's what they said to me. I haven't been hearing that because I, I told him I says – I, I'm hearing others are having the same problem with the missed hits as I am. And he says, I, I, I'm not hearing that from others, and I disagree. We, we were able to compare against real world, real, real world strokes, gain data this year to find areas where golf are too good or not good enough. The stats and scoring are really spot on this year. If you find you struggling with merely controlling a golfer, you might want to go into practice mode with perfect, perfect accuracy mold enabled. For a few rounds, that would give you a better idea where you're aiming your shots. Let me know if you have any questions. That's my issue. It's not the aiming of the shots. It looks good. Like the computer assist is on. Here's where it's going to hit. Here's where it's going to roll. Yeah, but the computer assist doesn't adjust for wind or level. It does do for wind. Oh, it does the, do it for wind? Yeah, the wind it does because it'll, it'll, it'll show you that it's way over here. But all, all, I, all I use that for is to click to see, okay, if I aim here, what's going to kind of happen? So it does help you with the wind a little bit. But like I said, the issue is that I say it's going to hit here and then, and I don't know how to fix the. Choo. Take a guy around that has a very high accuracy off the tee. Just specifically look for go into the all time great set because I know you have that, and just start going down the list and find a guy that has the highest accuracy off the, with the driver, and play that. And if you're still getting. Three or four of those bad miss hits around. This one guy head was a nine. He was a nine driver. And not, I was just, not off, not length, accuracy. Driving accuracy, not driving length. I forget which one it was. He was high. He was pretty high on both, though. So, you know, it, it's quite possible that. Hello, Roger. The 70% that I'm feeling feels a lot more like 50%, and that's where the frustration comes in. 
Tells you what the misses are for each golfer. I'll have to take a look at that. Yeah, and th that's my issue too. It's like it, 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 when he responded to me, he's like, "Well, it'll show you where you need to aim." Miss hit has nothing to do with aim. It really doesn't. Wind and and player accuracy and all that has stuff to do with if aim. But the whole randomness of the of the miss hit part of it is is what it was. It, it may be completely out of whack. <laughs> Atlanta Gold. I don't know how difficult of a course that is. That's Atlanta Athletic, and those are that's a was a PGA Championship course, and so that it would be that's not terrible. Yeah, Steve Stricker, good putter too. No, no we're doing, doing okay. We're just t chatting about that golf game that just come out, and we have some uh, some people have some issues with it, some frustrations because it because it's it's. 85 to 90 percent of that game is really fun but that that one quirk of the game really upsets upset you when you play meanwhile alice cooper is playing the round of his life at st andrews well that's clue that's my my issue here is that okay user's perception what do i do where do i aim it and why and how do I know where to aim it? I, I read some of it. I mean, I didn't go book the cover, but there was, uh, well, especially last year when I was when I was doing it. And I did hear that you want to hit it 50, 75, or 100%. You don't want to go 90 or 95%. Yeah, those, those, those that teams, increases. I get it. But yeah. when you're hitting 100%, you're still going off course that bad. It's just like, oh, my gosh. It's like, it's like what do I need to do? Or is it completely random? And it's like, Sorry, 70% of the time, you're going to miss the fairway no matter what you do. I mean, if I aim way over here, it ain't going to help. So I, I think maybe that's the attitude that I got to go in with it, that I'm going to miss 30% of the fairways. You are going to miss 30% of the and fairways. And just that, that's how it is. It just it feels like I miss way more than that. That, that was my point. Have you checked your stats at the end of the round? I don't, I don't remember. Probably See, not. Yeah. So, but again, I, I don't want to have the check stats. I don't want to have to get into the nitty gritty well, and pull out the manual. Sim. I mean, that's, the, they're all statistical sims. But it, I don't have to do that with hockey or, but or no basketball. Hockey. You could write books on hockey. I don't know basketball. and I still have fun. I pass it around and shoot. If it goes in, it goes in. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But, you know, like the Strat basketball, the PC game, you can't hit a fast break to save save your life. Angel and Bird miss every single fast break. That's not that drives you nuts too. It's like, man, come on! How come you guys are missing these layups and the fast breaks? You know, but you know, in the end, it the stats do come out somehow, some way. They come out, but it doesn't feel like it along the way. Yeah, talk to me after twenty rounds. That that would be. Well, but the things that might not make it twenty rounds, if I'm having that that much of an issue, it might we'll be like it, you know, we'll pick it back up. That'd be one of these things, kind of like hockey last. You probably put it down for a while, and then okay, let me give another chance. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Cooper bogey the eighth. So, anyway. But you know, you'd hate to have to keep playing safe the whole time. That's the only thing. So you gotta play smart. It's but it's, it's not but again, when when you see the shot go awry and you're like, I don't know what I could have done different. Uh, okay, then but you can't do anything about that. No. So well see that ain't bad. Jesse hit 14 failures and missed two. That ain't bad. That's very that, good. I would take that. I would I would I would even take ten and four. Okay, it just it just seems like that. I, I just don't hit many of them. The oh, cat. the cat is back. Uh, she was on my lap the entire time. And the cat came back the, the very next day. You right. know, the Not cat like she's over there back. staring at the corner like, get off the stage, Ron. Can't see her over there. No, she's, she's gone. She's off the bed. Oh, she's no, there. she's not. She's right there by the mic. Oh, no, what? that's your that's your reflection. Never mind. In the but on the microphone, 
Oh, the, that little silver ring. It looked like she was right behind the microphone. Oh, no. Oh, you know what? You see, that's the air conditioner, I think. No, there's a reflection on the microphone. It looked like she oh. went. Yeah, I can see the reflection. That's all. Um, yeah, take a break. You know, either that or I just got to just go to a different mindset. And just realize that that's going to happen. And, you know, golf is the one sport where if you try to get greedy, it comes back to bite you in the butt. And I know I've had that happen before. Oh, well. All right. So let's move on to what else? something else. Now we talked about that golf game, the craziness of it. Um, Uh, Tiger might actually, but Tiger was never that accurate, which is why he developed that awesome th stinger three wood. Hmm. That, that that's not bad. Twelve or eighteen, that's pretty good. So, but I've uh. uh so what it, else? The cat still recognizes me. <laughs> I told the story last night of when I shaved off the facial hair that the wife and the cat the, the, yeah. yeah, didn't. That was funny. I've heard that with kids, where people have the full beards and they, they, they have to shave the beard off in front of the kid because if they come out of the bathroom, they don't, they don't recognize Oh, them. tell Scott what about the dog because he missed it yesterday. Oh, so um, so they took the dog to the vet this week and they couldn't find anything. They did some blood work. The blood work came back normal. The only thing they can think it might be is um, he's having seizures, these small seizures. And he's on some pain medication. And since he's been on the pain medication since Sunday, he hasn't had a seizure. He hasn't fallen over. So they think that that medicine helps with the seizure. So we're going to keep giving him that. So haven't had any episodes since Saturday night, which is good. Um, the only thing is, though, is that they want to say, oh, you want to go see a neurologist? And it's like, no, he's 15, 16 years old. So if he has something wrong and it's going to be, it is what it is at this point. It's just so it's not his leg, so to speak, even though he's, his leg keeps falling out. The knee keeps. How's his, how's his energy level? He sleeps all day. He's an older dog, though. I try to kick him out three or four times a day, run around the yard. I used to take him for walks, but that stopped about a year ago. You haven't ago. done that since I've really known you. so Yeah, so it's probably been a year and a half, maybe two years. He just stopped going. I would get him five houses, and he'd want to go home. So I knew he was not up for the big walks anymore. She takes him out once in a while, and he'll go. But he's he's slowing down. He's slowing down a lot. So um, the blood work was good. The only thing it could be is a neurological thing causing seizures. And at that point there, we just monitor him until he gets really bad because there's just nothing we can do about it. So thank you for asking, Scott. Um, so Alice is plus six. What's on deck later this evening? I'm not sure what's on deck. I had a busy day. I did two golf streams. Well, one short stream, but one long golf, one short. I did some basketball. Um, I'm not sure what's on deck tonight if I'm doing anything. I'm not really sure. Yeah, Tiger got out of trouble. <clears throat> so... Yeah, we beat it to death. We 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 all we all you know we sent the emails. We got the responses. You know we're we're all gonna play a little bit more and see. You know maybe we need to commit us with a different attitude instead of playing this like three click golf like it's you know links two thousand and four. Maybe we gotta think of it as a sim and it's just gonna do sim things and this is part of the sim. So yeah, I think it was probably the best news we could have no, got. I, I agree, Scott. So if if he's having any seizures, you now they could keep happening and get worse, but um. Of all the things he had, that's probably the, well, the you best. said Sunday he was running around the yard. Well, that was the thing. Yeah, she took him. She was all worked up Sunday, so I was taking the vet. Took him to the vet. Couldn't find anything. Come home, and he's like running around the house. She couldn't catch him to get the leash off. Went out in the yard. He's out in the. It's like, how do you come back from just fall over and then blah? blah, blah oh, okay, blah, start running around. It's like that. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. So Al, this. SSG basketball game. That's what I want to see. I was watching somebody play it here on, on the tubes. SSG cards and dice basketball. I was watching um this guy play it here. So it look it looks a lot like like status pro. I'm watching the video right now. It looks a lot like status pro status pro. Maybe even 
like a almost looks like a play type of game almost. Play's, so, still, Play's been working on a basketball game for a while. Yeah. Can I think about the play games though? They they're really weird. Well, they're board games. They're they're designed to be they're, like oh, yeah, because I was watching who was it? Um Chris with uh tabletop Delaware dude. And he, he was watching he was playing the uh, the the baseball game. History was it history maker baseball or hit me up baseball or something like that. History maker, yeah. And it was just like, all right, here's the pitch. Okay. All right. Does uh is this guy a hero? Yes, he is. All right. Is the right field does the right fielder collect stamps? Yes, the right fielder collects stamps. So it's a hit the right field and the right fielder makes the catch. And that's kind of how that that game is. It's really it's really bizarre that you gotta look up all these things to determine the play, but that's how the play games do it. I, I think it's a little odd. Maybe if I played it, it wouldn't be so bad. Um but the the things they do with the hockey, I don't like. I just don't. She's back. Yeah, she's back. How am I doing? I don't know. I started my new medication today. So far, no ill ill effects. I've only taken one pill though, so I got to take another one tonight. I'm hoping I don't feel terrible with it. I'm really nervous about it. I'll tell you the truth, I'm real nervous about it. Just, but that's just my paranoia. So. And know that I, I probably won't be playing hockey for two months, even if they open up, so I can referee, but I won't play, which is too bad. But I need I need to get this thing taken care of. Yes. And and it's, you know, maybe a blessing in disguise that we're going through this right now so that you can and not feel like you're missing much of anything. Yeah. Um, tennis tonight. Oh, you playing that time travel tennis. I think that's what it is, right? So uh, it's, oh, you're playing with dice, not the cards. That'll be interesting. Yeah, that tennis is fun to watch. It is. Although uh, ID had a couple of long volleys, usually it's one or two. He had one that was five, six, seven back and forth volleys. It was it was fun. What's that other game he's playing? He's playing uh, in the not in the cup. There was there was a inside the cup. I think he's got no, the no, golf game from. No, it was it was the tennis game. It was inside volley, maybe. Yeah, they've uh, yeah um, they have a tennis game too. I was watching that. I, I didn't like that as much as the time travel. Yeah. Yeah, I, I played um somebody Scott today. Who was it? Brad Scott? Adam or, Scott. Adam Scott. And he was three-putting everything. <laughs> it was funny. But at least I was on the green. He was just three-putting everything. <laughs> Does the right field collect stamps? I mean, got green stamps. <laughs> I mean, He's got a book of green stamps. But but that's how it goes, right? It's like, you know, is this guy a hero? Does this guy collect stamps? What did this guy have for dinner? Is is the team all getting along? You know, did, did, is someone sleeping with somebody's girlfriend? Because if they are, then, it, you know, that's how that game is. It, it, semi. Are you semi sleeping with the owners with the manager's <laughs> girlfriend? If you are, you get a hit. If not, uh -huh. you struck out. Um, no, I don't. I asked him, I grilled him on it. I said, what can I eat? What, what can I, and he said, no, everything's fine. And I'm like, okay, if you're saying everything's fine. And I read, I read the sheet up and down and it just said, make sure that you take it steady. You don't like quit or take too much. You don't just, want to take is it once a day, Dave, or twice, morning twice and night, day. morning and night. So you had one with that delicious dinner you had then no night. i had one this morning and i'll have one when i'm done the show i'm trying oh, to have taking a second yeah. one in yet. fact I'm, I'm taking it so serious i put a notepad and i'm gonna check off morning and night because i always for, I used to forget to do that so and i for, don't so want to do that time? you don't want you to take it with food it didn't say it said okay. morning and evening morning and evening so he wants to see mac and row yeah inside volley tennis okay uh yeah, you like in the backs basketball, huh? Eighty five Celtics. Oh, that would be fun on the play. I was I started an ABA season, just playing it offline. I'm doing two halves so I can kind of bang up the games. I'm playing one of the ABA seasons. It is kind of fun. Uh yeah, it, it, history maker baseball is very different. And if you like it, good. I I think it's just kind of weird. This it's different. It it doesn't. It's not like okay, let's roll the dice. Check the card. Here's what happened. It's like you got to do all this research on people and see what kind of day they have and who fought it in the clubhouse before the game to, to, to determine the play. And I mean, it works and people like it, and that's good. Sports I do a mic machines here. It is. It, it is. It's an. It's an. It's, a, it's an alternative game. We'll call it. And but that's good though because every other 
game is a sim. So it's fun. It's good to have a game like that. I will say it is nice to have a game that's that's off the beaten path. I do like that. Hey, whatever floats your boat, man. No, I like in and outs. At least you hit the thing. An air ball is embarrassing. Yeah, you know, I, I think it's an play games are an acquired taste, I think. Yep. It's it's not it's not terrible. I tried the hockey blast. It, I I had some fun with it, but it it went off the rails for me. It just did just not what I want out of a hockey game. I might like the baseball because I'm a casual baseball guy. And I I might like the second season express. I, I watch I was watching ID play second season. Holy cow, you gotta set aside nights to play a game. You it, were it, just it, not a full football replay guy. No, no. It just I played well, I played that one Dallas Pittsburgh game and had a lot of fun with that. But um yeah, if it's gonna take me an hour and a half to play, that that's a long time to be sitting there playing a game. It really is. Um I have the uh, I have the the newest versions of basketball and hockey. And they're really good. They're, the hockey has come leaps and bounds from the past. It really has. All right, Al, go play SSG. Give me give me some videos tonight, will you? Yeah, okay, that would make sense because he was pretty good with the irons. Yeah, actually, on the green. Going a long putter because he just couldn't putt with a short stick. Yeah, he I couldn't put anything, and I was three putting everything. Uh, second season is fun, but it's long. Yeah, that's why the Express. I was looking at the Express, but I didn't want to spend the 75 bucks on that game if I wasn't going to like it. I thought about trying to find it used somewhere. Yep, we enjoy our games, whatever they are, even if we bitch about them. I'm not a wrestling fan, so I no. I, I've seen some of the things come up on YouTube, but I haven't watched them yet. Archie, good to see you in here. What are you holding? Corn oil in that picture there? That's kind of cool. Looks like oh, a yeah, like a thing of Mazola or something. It's like almost that. like is, is that for your car? Does the car run on corn oil? Because it's like a big gallon of gas or something. There you go. That that's kind of cool. All right, so what do you guys think of the old Pater and Bullbaum games? And they're on PC now. I haven't played either one of those, but I heard people love them. I played them in college, number 17,005, why I didn't graduate. Uh, and it was fun. I mean, there's no there's no individual player stats in them. It's all a team-based game. And I think you roll for play in that. It's, it's a chart. They're team charts. It's, in, it's intriguing. It's probably like an older school game, right? I would imagine. Yes, they were from the 60s and 70s. So a lot of charts and a lot of math, I would think. Uh, yeah. Not a lot of math, but some charts. Okay. We showed Bandy uh, ice, ice football. It's weirder than – okay. Ooh. I'll check, check that out. Ice football. Ice football. Ice. I don't want to show it here and get in trouble. So yeah. I'll have to... What's it called again? EIS football. Mm -hmm. EIS football. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay. That's the one that they play soccer on ice with bowling shoes. Oh. Okay, I've seen that. Yeah, that's, and it's super slow. I don't know how they don't fall and crack their head because they have bowling shoes on the ice and they get no grip at all. It's like being on banana peels. So I, I don't get how they do that. So I used to play a ton of pay dirt. See, that's one I didn't. I didn't. I'm late to the party. They still make them, but they're not official. Oh, Jeff's here. Good to see Jeff. Yeah, Thanks, Jeff. Enough. Um, yes, I did the strat basketball today. That was so fun. It's basic. And I, I still gotta figure out someone's gonna have to explain. And I know Ron, you've done it 10 times, and I just don't listen and don't write it down. But the fouls, the whole foul, like because it's the shot fouls I get, but when it's like a tweet, it's a foul, it says foul one. Um, or whatever, it's just a foul and there's it's no just shot. A foul right. unless you're in the bonus. It's five foul. You're gonna write this down? Yeah, hang on. You got a pen? Yeah, let me drive the 220 miles to give it to you. Stop. And then all right, so make some cookies. Now, is this does it matter on the year though? Does it matter on uh, the year? Well, yes, it okay. does. Well, not really. You could I would just play it whatever 
the rules now are five okay. fouls per quarter. Five fouls per quarter. Per quarter. Offensive fouls don't count in that total. Okay, okay. so the charge doesn't count. Okay. It counts for the player, but not for the team. So they get five fouls. After that. After that, you shoot two free throws. Okay, so on number six, right? Right. Or the first foul after in the last two minutes. You get one foul in the last two minutes if you haven't reached the bonus. And then after that, you're shooting free throws. Okay. Now, does that include, so if, if I get a foul two, that's included as a foul, right? Yes. So all fouls except offensive ones. Right. Okay. So uh, but on, a foul, on a foul two, you're shooting two free throws. It's considered a shooting foul. But that counts as one of the five. Yes, it does. Okay. Now, what about the old seventy-five season? Any idea on that? I don't remember when they when they stopped shooting a free throw after every foul. I would just do it for that. I think you'd find it to be the most fun. Okay. Because I know that there's a F one in there instead of F two. F two is a shooting certain, foul. F one. Certain, certain seasons, you would just shoot a foul shot on every on every foul, and I don't yeah. know when they stopped doing that. Well, I saw that, and I don't know if it was Strata or. Action PC basketball. The yep. guy would get the guy with the ball w- wouldn't be shooting. He'd get fouled. He'd shoot one shot, and that was it. And that sucked because you're going down the court. You might as well just foul every time and let the guy take one shot. Right. So that was that was kind of weird. Okay, offensive fouls count for the team, but they don't result. In, so, but no, they don't get counted on the board. The the counts for the player, but it doesn't really count for you know in the stats. But as far as the bonus is concerned, it doesn't count. You know, um, who is it? I'm sorry. Um, Guaynico, I've I've seen that. You're the one I, that showed me that. Yeah, that's the one where the guy like throw he's standing next to the batter and he throws yeah. it up and the guy hits it and, and the field is Oh, is, it's huge. It is weird. It's like wiffle ball on steroids. Yeah, we saw it. Pesa Palo. The rules of Pace of Palo. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm just going to show you that. I'm not going to play the video, but I will show the picture of it. So, yeah. Oh, let me take that down. I'm sorry. So that is – that's the field of Pace of Palo. And you can see it's kind of messed up. And what happens is I think the guy in the next to the plate is the pitcher, and he just lobs it to the person. And that, that's what the field looks like. Yep. Right there. That's the, it's, it's like a banner that's hanging down. See the picture next to the hitter. And then, Oh, the first, see first base, second base, third base. That is nuts. That is nuts. And, and wow, that is nuts. It really is. So that is craziness. If you want to get a chance, check that out. It's worth the watch. It is. It's funny to watch that. Uh, good, good picking on that. Though. I would play it, but I don't want to get in any kind of trouble anymore. Because you know what happens when we play Floby stuff, you know? <laughs> <sighs> Come on, get a still of the cat. Right, up until 81. Oh, okay. Midlife crisis. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Up until 81, it was three to make two on a shooting file. Oh, in the, the bonus. The bonus. Two to make one if you made the shot. Okay, so... Uh, up until 81, three, two, make two. Right. In bonus. In the bonus. If it wasn't in bonus, then it was just what? Two to make two? Sure, right. Conventional two to make two. The bonus gave you the third shot. It was two to make, okay. So two, two, make one if you make the shot. Right. If you score, if scored. Okay. Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. Okay. Now, when I was playing the game, if if you're just going down the court in, in the older game at midlife, if you know this, and you get fouled, because I'm playing when I was playing the older strat cards, it's like foul, right? So is that a shot automatically or is that? Uh, it was up until a certain year. I don't know what year they stopped it. Okay. So, hmm. Yeah, Mr. Jet is late again. Mike, they don't actually throw the ball. They pretty much toss it in the air. Yeah, you, you just like 
I mean, right. you're right next to the guy. You are real close to the bat, yeah, but yeah, right you're not there, you're not but, standing in front of him. Yeah. But so it's not like he's trying to throw it in, but and I think you can say I want a high toss or a low toss too. I think I remember that. It's correctly. almost like throwing it up to yourself and hitting it. It's, it's, it's it is, really yeah. close to that. Yeah. So okay, not sure about that. So yeah. Well, I guess as long as I'm consistent in the game with both teams, it ain't gonna really matter. Right. Like it really lot. doesn't matter. So I'll play that. But I played today. I had fun. I played 83. I don't know what rules. I, I didn't even keep track of the team files in the fourth quarter. I just played. Now that I know, now that I, I, I read it down, I now I know that five five fouls and you go into the bonus. So there we go. So what do you, Ron, do you get uh, baseball tomorrow? Is that what it is? I got baseball tomorrow, and then we're taping the show, right? Probably, yeah. Friday night, yep. It's our Friday night extravaganza. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, okay. 72-73 uh, was the first year of the no shot after every foul. Okay. So, so all the things you have are, you wouldn't do that. Okay. That's good to know. Once in a while, I try. If anyone played um, Action PC college season? For football? I'm not sure. Getting the horizontal fields. That that should be a pretty easy task. Yeah, yeah for the rest of them. Just got to remember that they need to be under 32 characters. So yeah, it, that's the other thing. Yeah, so if, it's, if it's written out 2017, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it, yeah, it ain't gonna work. Yeah, sometimes you got to rename them. Giant Mazzola from the Costco sells everything. Nice. Pages are offered through data driven sports for the PC. Hmm. The old manual team. Yeah, I can imagine they're expensive. Data-driven yeah. sports. I'll have to check that out. Yeah. And again, there's no, there's no, the teams are there, but there's no individual players. So it's all different plays and results. I'm going to check out that picture, PJ. If you don't look like Ron Jeremy, I'm going to be very upset. Um. Yeah, check that out, Jeff. I had the same thing too. I couldn't figure out. out. It would show the picture sometimes, but you couldn't. It wouldn't you could save. show the picture, but yeah, it never would save. Yeah, so like a lot of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers seasons wouldn't work, so I had to change it just to Tampa Bay. Just just rename it. That's all you have to do, and that worked like a charm. It's got to be under thirty-two. I'm not sure why people would create it with more than thirty-two, but they did. But they 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 work great. I print them out like I printed out the basketball and the hockey's when I play some of my games. I use them just for background. They're great. Nice way to go. Everyone has a thing for Ron Jeremy. Everyone. No, I don't. Stop it. Yes, you do. I do not. Yes, you do. That's not what you said earlier. Ron Jeremy with a with a pineapple pizza delivery for Ron. I don't know what's worse, the pineapple pizza or the fact that he's a porn star with that hairy back. Yes, he is. He uh, no, he was in he was in my town. Was he has he? The, he has the Ron Jeremy funny story. He has the Ron Jeremy rum, and he was at oh, not okay. He was at the package store in my town. So you have to buy his his rum and get an autograph and a picture. Okay. I was in Las Vegas when he was here. Imagine that. I'm in Vegas and Ron Jeremy's in my town. <laughs> I mean, what are the chances? You know, and there was all these people taking pictures with him and he, he just, you know, he was whatever. And the rum, the rum is not that good. It's not, it's not as good as Captain Morgan's. I'll take your word for it. Classic Harry back. Hey, that, but you know, people paid for that. That's all I'm going to say. Did you pay for that? No, I'm not rethinking the whole digital dice thing. Yeah, uh, I, I rotate the banners. So what do I get up there now? Red Wings and Sharks? Oh, I get two Sharks. I get the Los Angeles Sharks and the San Jose Sharks. You get the St. Louis Cardinals and the Detroit yep. Red Wings. Yeah, I need some more pennants. Hopefully I can go back to work and I can I can buy some more pennants. 
at the package. So that's what it's called. It's package store. Pictures of the chance. Uh oh, uh oh, what do we got? Uh, I noticed a Shula Day Christmas game the other day and noticed that modern plays like Jet Sweep were not grayed out. I've never seen the Jet Sweep gr grayed out. I just think one's a end around and one's a reverse. Why would they be grayed out in 71? Usually when you do the seasons, you can only have, I think only formations are grayed out. So you can't run a four wide set in 1971 because it just didn't happen. Yeah, that's true. They could uh, do like the wide receiver screens and stuff like that. Right. Hmm. Hmm. So. Oh, uh, so you want to uh, start winding things down here so people can go off and uh, watch some TV and play some of their games tonight? There you go. Yep. So. I got to see what I'm going to do tonight. I did my strat basketball. That was fun. I might, uh, I don't know. When are you going to do your Worcester project? Oh, I could start that tonight. I could start that because yeah. I did the other one, right? I did the kill the power play, and, yeah. and this is the um the downtime hockey. Yeah, the uh, Mike Seelock game. So I could start that at some point, or I could do my Mickey Mouse shootout hockey game. I should do that one tonight. Your Mickey Mouse shootout? The Mickey Mouse game, the Devils and oh. the Oilers. I think it was 83-84. Let, yes. let, let me call that up. So that was – uh. Uh, it is a St. Louis blue jer jersey. Yeah, that's the blues there. So if I go to that game, we go to 1983-84, and we go to the Oilers. And the, the Devils weren't the worst team in the league, by the way. Pittsburgh Penguins are the worst team in the league in 1983-84. It, oh, yeah, I think you're exactly right. So where's their schedule? Let's go to the Oilers' schedule. And scheduling results. Okay, so though they beat the Capitals eleven to three, they just crushed. Here it is, thirteen to four. It was, oh, it was at home. I thought it was in New Jersey. It was, it was at home, thirteen well, to four. Know, the other thing is that the Oilers were upset because Colorado used to be in the same. Division is Edmonton, and so it was eight easy wins a year. Yeah, and they beat Vancouver they yeah. 12 to 2 over Vancouver. Wait, wait, wait. This can't be right. On February 12th, 1984, the Hartford Whalers. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's, there's no way this is true. What? The Hartford Whalers. Defeated the Edmonton Oilers, the 19 and 29, 19 and 29 Hartford Whalers beat the 39 and 40, 14, 39 wins, for Edmonton, 19 wins, half as many wins. Hartford beat them in Hartford, 11, nothing. That's probably the worst beating of Edmonton's career. Mo gave up four goals on seven shots. Wow. Yeah, and he was gone. And then Grant Fuhrer gave up seven more goals the rest of the way. Was was Gretzky and Messier on assignment that night? Um yes. Um there was no Gretzky. Yeah, no Gretzky and um no Messier. You're exactly right. No, Messier, Messier, Messier played. There's no Gretzky, though. Wow. Anderson played. Coffee played. Charlie Huddy. Um, oh, nothing. I didn't see Yari Curry on there. So maybe they were out for the game. But 11 nothing. Holy smoke. But the game I was talking about... Um, it was 13 to 4, I said, right? Yeah, 13 to 4. Yep, 13 to 4, Edmonton. That was the Mickey Mouse game. I should play that other game too, the, the Hartford game, but that Edmonton would smoke them, I would oh, imagine. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, Wayne Gretzky scored, scored shorthanded with two minutes left. That's probably why he was laughing. Gretzky had what, four goals? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Gretzky had. No, three goals, five assists, eight points. Yeah, just a small night at the office for Wayne. 
Yeah, so that's why he called that the Mickey Mouse operation. That's when the devils were green, by the way. I like the Christmas tree uniforms. I didn't mind them. So let's see, Kresge, how many did he miss any games? Yeah, he played 74. So he missed a few games. So that Hartford game was one that they missed. But imagine that 11 nothing. 11 nothing. Yeah, they were on how civ duty. Yeah. They, they were st still all stuck at Orange Julius at the other end of the mall, right? Got to have ham with pineapple on the pizza, Archie. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. People are sick. I'd run the play. I, I ran um, something like that in my Chula Super Bowl seven for both teams. And yeah, I know we talked about that as a blues jersey. So that's a recent blues jersey too. Um right? no, no, that was from two nineteen probably like ninety eight, ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, that's an older blues jersey. Is there a name on the back? Yeah, Terry Virtue. He played with the the Ice Cats, got called up to the Blues, ended up with the Bruins in Providence for a while. He played a couple games in Boston. I remember watching him play. There was two 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 Ice Cats ended up going to Boston and played for the Bruins a couple of times. I don't think they played many games up in Boston, but at least they got to play. I thought he was a good solid defenseman, but he was a local guy too. I did an interview with him. He uh, he played professional roller hockey too. He played in the Roller Hockey International in 1995, and I ended up uh, doing an interview with him on that. It was kind of neat, that and the Ice Cats. So, uh, so why don't we wrap things up here? Ron? No, I'm Ron. There's no there's no quotes there tonight. That's It's really me. It's really you? It's really me. All right. I read about pineapple pizza and how evil it is. It's not evil. It's good for you. It's yummy. It's evil. <laughs> Evil. It is evil. All it's right. E so, silly. all right. So, we're going to sign off here. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We had a good chat about the golf. Hopefully, everybody go play the golf. Maybe we'll settle down. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll get some answers. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll somebody, somebody will find the key to making that game fun. I don't know what it is, but maybe we will. Maybe I'll try the practice mode a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I'll create a golfer with all 10. See if that helps. That's what I should do, actually. So, Rockies made it with 19 wins. Yes, they did. Is there a big difference between ice and roller hockey? Yes. Yes, there is. Um, roller hockey, you really don't stop like you do in ice hockey. And then, excuse me, there's a lot more resistance. So that's why you see a lot of ice hockey players will do roller hockey in the offseason to build up some, uh, build up their legs a little bit because it offers a lot more resistance. Virtue is the coach of the Shrewsbury High Boys hockey team. Oh, he's, yeah, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce knows uh, Terry Rich. Yep. You should, go take, you should go get an autograph then. Hmm, maybe I will. Yep. I, I know he's, he lived in the area. I know I know he stayed in the area after all that. So, cool. Uh, yeah, I wasn't a fan of that jersey. It's just that was just when we got the jersey, that was the style it was. If it was 90s, that was, that was the 90s. Yeah, that was like the Ducks and all that other stuff. So. So, yeah, thanks to everybody that came in tonight, and we had a good good chat, a lot of uh, a lot of integration tonight in the chat, a lot of people chatting, a couple of new people coming in tonight. It was good to see. Um, and every night the numbers grow, Ron. I noticed that. I'm looking to yeah. see how many people watch. It's like, wow. It's, I, was, I was telling the wife the other night, it says, man, we, had, we hit a record last night. Last night we hit a record, you know, and tonight we almost hit that again. But it's been steady. So it's thanks to everybody that, that tuned in. Um, it was a, a fun time tonight. Hopefully we got some things accomplished. Hopefully everybody feels better. I know I'm feeling better. Golf courses are open. I'm hearing rumblings about hockey rinks opening up. You know, we, we got to try to try to get things back to normal here. And, and I think we're heading in that direction. We're seeing, you know, improvements all over the place, both um, physically and mentally and, and numbers and, and, you know, what's going on and, Whatever. So you, you have me on five screens. Oh, don't do that. That that just skews the numbers. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. <laughs> Go pineapple. I feel like I've died and gone to an episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> that's a funny show. It is. Sometimes it gets a little much, but sometimes it's a funny oh, show. Oh, but that's the point. My my wife hates it, which makes me love it even more. That's oh, all right. 
Yeah. Fine. Pineapple's the minority. That's okay. Uh, I think we actually have a topic. We'll probably talk about a little bit and what we're playing, but are we doing, here's a, here's one for us and we may hold off till Saturday. Um, depending on what we get for. Oh yeah. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Tomorrow's Friday. You know, what teams have you had that, what great teams have you not had? Have you have underwhelmed for you on the tabletop and what teams that didn't quite get to the promised land have overperformed for you on the tabletop? Put that in the, um, no, I'm Patrick. He, Dave is SpongeBob. Dave's the host. Um, um, I do have the Gary socks, by the way. I would be Mr. I would be Mr. Crab. You'd be Mr. Crab. Well, thank See, God. Right not- here. See, SpongeBob, I saved a total of a quarter by laying you off. So I saved 25 cents. I hate to do it, my lad, but 25 cents is 25 cents. I oh, just put back my bottles and got a quarter back for it, Mr. Krabs. Can I work for free? No, I thought about that too, SpongeBob, but I would have to pay the government this quarter. So I'm going to put the quarter in my pocket. That's a good, that's good. So, um, so that would be, I think what we're going to talk about. Ann Wilcher is the one that suggested it. So go put that on in the digital dice on what teams you've had great success with that you shouldn't have had. And what the 72 dolphins, we are all struggling with them. So, um, I think that's what we're talking about. I'm sure we'll talk a little bit about APC golf too, but yeah, we had a whole show on it last week. So we'll talk a little bit. I can't imagine. Well, it, it, we'll feel it out. Uncle Ron's going to play it. I'm going to play it some more myself and uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on, on the forum. On the, um, the- hey, big clue. You never apologize for, for that. So yeah. So what teams have you had success with that weren't champions and what teams that were champions have you just struggled with? So cool. Good stuff. All right. We're going to sign out here from studio B down here and Ron's up there in studio V. And you're getting, you're supposed to be getting some snow, maybe, right? Saturday. May 9th. May 9th, we're going to get snow. It's like, my, sister, it's my sister's 40th birthday. <laughs> Only pass on second down. I guess that would be it. So, great. So All right. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We're going to sign off for this Thursday evening. I think this is May 7th. Thanks, for everybody, that tuned May 7th in. Be with you, yeah. Yeah, May the 7th. Be with Ron, thanks for coming on tonight. Always. And, uh, Great chat tonight. Really, really good chat tonight. Everybody that tuned in had a good time. So thank you so much. We'll talk to you hopefully tomorrow night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.